Action Community Health and Human Services Committee. Is there any matter to come for the board that anyone else has? Any discussion? If not, we have just one item for consideration. And um, this is due to uh, an accident where, where a county vehicle was damaged. 2014. It was 2014 Ford Focus. The in insurance uh, recovery is in the amount of $13,059. There was a deductible of $1,000 from the original value of the, of the uh, vehicle at the time of the accident. And so, um, in order to purchase a new vehicle, we're going to need to transfer an additional um, $1,000 excuse me, almost $2,000, it's $1,998 from Social Services Administration, so that the total will come to $15,057. Was there any discussion? Thank you, and a second? Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Okay, let's go into full committee. And I have no other business. Thank you. Huh? Was your motion to adjourn? Thank you. I'll know. Thank you. Okay. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to call the order of the Economic Development Planning Committee. Five, a few minutes late. Um, we have two. Is there any discussion to go before the committee? If not, there's two resolutions. One uh, amending the 2015 operating budget it has to do with the Montgomery County Flood Mitigation Grant Program Award. And we have an also another one that uh, funds the snowmobile trails. First resolution. Don't need to read this all. Do I? Which, the uh, flood. Does anybody need me? Well, no, it is. Oh, okay. 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 This resolution asks to increase revenues, state aid. Other culture and recreation, $56,385. And increase appropriations the same, recreation trails, $56,385. This is cost neutral and really has no impact. Any questions? I need a sponsor. I need a sponsor. We have a sponsor, Barbara. Do. Second. Thank you. All in favor, moving at the full board. Aye. Aye. Second and last resolution is has to do with a resolution 163 of the 2012, which authorized the chairman of the board of supervisors to sign a flood mitigation grant and accept the fundings. By resolution 163 of 2012, the Department of Economic Development Planning Department of Public Works and Emergency Management to complete the project. Whereas it was not Funds were appropriated in 2012, 2013, and 2014 operating, yet were not completely received or expended as of December 31st, 2014. And whereas it's necessary to carry forward said funding into 2015 operating budget to bring the said project to fruition. And we want to increase revenues and emergency disaster assistance $75,682.36 and increase appropriations to miscellaneous supporting services, $75,682.36. John? Terry, second. Thank you. Move to full board? Yes. All right, thank you. Are there any other questions about the economic development plan? There's a motion to Adjourn. Motion. John. All in favor? Aye. Thank you.
calling the uh, public safety committee meeting to order. Is there any discussion tonight? Come on, Tom, you gotta have some discussion over no. here. Nothing. Anybody yeah. <laughs> else? Okay, then let's uh, move on to our list of, of uh, agenda. Resolution number one. Are we gonna read it or are we gonna Resolution number one, or actually uh, two on the agenda, is for the uh, 2000, 207 and 2, uh, 2014 and amending the 2015 operating budget public defender's office. Is there, well, I, I guess I uh, sponsored this. Is there a second? I'll yeah. second. Uh, Terry, it has to be in the committee, right? If no. Second. Can second. be anybody. Second can be anybody. Okay, very good. Thank you. Is there any discussion on this resolution? You had some discussion on it. Yeah, I I did talk to Cheryl, and Cheryl let me know what it was about. So I'm fine with it. You're okay with it now? Yes. Shall we move it to full board? Move it to full board. Okay. We got a resolution now. Uh, New York State Homeland Security. Uh, let's see, grant funds for 2013 have been expended and are uh, approaching contract expiration. And we have a resolution. I would first and second. You're going to second that? Okay, you can, I guess. I can. The rules. Is there any discussion on this resolution? Uh, should we move this to full board? Okay, very good. Homeland Security, three hundred sixty thousand. From what I understand, and I don't know if you understand it exactly, is that grant money from last year gets gets moved to this year. Is that, is that what's happening here in this resolution? Yes. Okay, and that's for. That's and we're going to use this for the radio equipment as previously discussed. Is there any discussion? Okay. Um, oh, again, this is uh, Bob number two on this. Okay, and is there any discussion on this resolution? That before, correct? Mm -hmm. Should we move this to full board? Yes. yes. All right. That's no new really expenditure. This stuff we had talked about before. Okay. We got the ninety thousand, the uh, twenty fourteen homeland again for ninety thousand dollars. It's federal aid, the technical equipment, and I guess Jeff is going to use this primarily for uh, fire, uh, fire upgrade, which they really need. And uh, I'm going to sponsor that. Is there a second on that? Let's. Bob, okay, all right, is a discussion on this. They really need the equipment, uh, the fire department's out there. So I was talking to somebody in Hannaford and he's bending my ear about it, so. Shall we move it to, to a full, full board or what? Move it to full board. Okay, good, move to full board. Now we have the uh, very, uh, let's see, purchasing agent authorized to request for proposals and that was for the, uh, for, I believe that's for the, is that for the food? That the, yeah. Okay. Does the cook come with the food, Sheriff, or what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He was telling me you guys were making meatballs down here today, right? Uh, that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's not, that's kind of away from the normal a little bit, right? Or no? Okay. All right. Uh, I'll sponsor that as your second here. I'll second it. Terry, okay. Uh, any discussion on this? Yes. Go ahead. I understand this justification. It says we have to provide meals to to inmates. Uh, we currently contract with our food management for the jail, and it has saved the county a considerable amount of money. I requested to go with the current company that we are using, and although it appears that they are a higher proposal, they are not. <coughs> we put it. We put it out for RFP that that this is the one that was selected uh, by the sheriff. Do you want to explain why you? Uh, I'm, ta I'm talking about the. The census is it appears that they are the higher proposal, but they are not. Um, on the justification, I put down that there was a letter I sent to the county exec. See that? No, I did not. Did you get a copy of that? You wouldn't be part of the button. committee. It was attached to the resolution since it's about. I'll share send this over to me. But I'll, 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 I'll understand. Yeah. It, it appears that, uh, just a quick explanation. Yeah. It appears the other company uh, that bid on it. <clears throat> is a lot less price. When you read uh, their proposal, they are not locking the prices in for a year, which is what required in the RFP. They've made it so that if the prices go up, they can increase the prices on them. Uh, they also are, are not including the soap for the kitchen and the laundry, which was required. Uh, they're not including that in their bid. We have to buy that separate. Oh, I, I understand uh, perfectly. You don't have to go any further. That's that the would, numbers, the numbers. If it just said that they had not met the requirements, it would have been more 
acceptable, I think. Okay. Well, I wanted to give you a no problem. All right. Next slide. That's fine. Okay. Thank you. Any other Appreciate discussion it. here on this resolution? Thank you, Duke. Thank you. Okay. Now, should we move it to full board? Move it to full board. Okay. Okay. Finally, on this, we have the uh, sheriff requesting a uh, uh, resolution for uh, Eastern Medical Support. Sean P. Secchi is a very well-respected uh, local fellow. Yeah. Skipped one. Did I miss one here? Yeah. Okay, can I? One about the intermunicipal agreement. Okay, oh, sorry, sorry about that. That's correct. We have the intermunicipal agreement with the, for the SWAT team. Is that correct, Sheriff? Yep. And that's an intermunicipal agreement between the city and the uh, county, correct? Right. And we guys share guys when you really need extra to help for the SWAT team or what? Is that how that goes? We share a county wide SWAT team, city and county, okay. quite a few years. Uh, we had a municipal agreement which expired. Thank you. <clears throat> and we were asking to renew that agreement. Uh, okay. So we can help each other inside the city, outside the city, come outside the city and help us. How long have you had that? Can you do an offhand or? Uh, I want to say that's 2011. Okay, so it's, it's okay. So it's been around for a few years then, okay? Yeah. Do we have a second for that? I'm sorry, I went a little bit out of order there. Mr. Patel, any <coughs> discussion on that? Move it to full board. Motion to move it to full board. All yes. in favor? Yes. Okay. Now I'm on my final one here that we have on, on the docket for Eastern Medical Support. I know Sean does a lot for the Sheriff's Department, helping them out in a lot of different areas, and uh, he's a great guy, and I just uh, I feel that he's very much entitled to this. And I uh, would sponsor that. Any second for that? Okay, Barb, you got that one. <laughs> All right, any discussion on that? Shall we move it to full board or what? Move it to full board. Okay, we have finally one thing for the sheriff requested a resolution that's not on the agenda. He requested a resolution for to uh, actually uh, work together on 911 with the uh, with Hamilton County, so they join into our 911 facility and uh, share facilities with us. Can you explain that a little bit because they haven't seen anything about that yet? Yes, back in uh, a little over four and a half years ago, uh, Fulton County Sheriff's Office, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office used to lease the phone lines from the phone company. Uh, back then we decided we didn't want to do that anymore. We want to have our own phone system to save money. So two sheriff's officers got together, we went out to bid, and we uh, obtained a contract with uh, a new phone system for 911 and a five-year maintenance agreement, full maintenance agreement. Uh, this July, that full contract expired. So we started meeting last month, I mean uh, last year, the end of last year, because the time it takes to get to where we need to be takes quite a while. Uh, and we're, we sat down on the committee as we had before, sat down again, come up with a new bid package for this phone system. We have to redo it. We do it. So that be June or July when it's uh, expired. Uh, so we sat down, we came up with who we wanted. In the meantime, Hamilton County reached out to us and they are planning on uh, putting a 911 system up there. Because of the cost factor of it, it would be very expensive for them, and they were wondering if they could tap into our phone system, Montgomery and Fulton County's phone system. And we explored it, and uh, we said yes, there would be no problem. And what this would be, right now, Montgomery County and Fulton County are backups for each other. So if our phone system goes down, our 911 phone system goes down on our computers, we just pack up our stuff, and go to Fulton County, sit down on their computers, and log in, and we're on our same thing for Fulton County. They can come down here and do that. Uh, that's what Hamilton County wants. They want to tap into our system to run their phones, but they also want Montgomery and Fulton County to be their backup in case something happens to them. Uh, and we think that's it's consolidation. It's a really good idea. It saves them money, and it's going to actually save us money because uh, we own the phone system. Uh, they're going to be tapping in, so they're going to have to pay for any equipment and anything else that needs to tap into our phone system. But then, because they're using our system, we are going to charge them for the maintenance, any licensing that we have to pay for, for them to be on it. Uh, so it'll actually reduce our cost to the system uh, that's coming up. Now, tomorrow, the bid uh, package is going out. Fulton County has uh, worked on it, and they're uh, going to be it out tomorrow. It's 
due back on March 18th. And shortly after that, well, March 18th is when we're going to actually open the business. And shortly after that, the two committees will get together again in Montgomery County and we'll review the bids and make our decision. And then we will come back to the board, uh, each board, with the approval to accept the bids. Uh, the area we're looking at right now in cost factor for Montgomery County is a little over $200,000 for the system. Now, the money uh, would normally come from our 911 revenue uh, uh, fund balance. And, but earlier this year, the county executive office received word that we can apply for a grant from the state, and, and it was in the neighborhood of $150,000. The county exec voted the grant to me. Uh, I reviewed it, applied for it. I actually applied for all the money we needed which was more than 150, uh, they gave me 161. Nice. So good job. Uh, we, we made out pretty good. And uh, hopefully the rest of that money that we're going to need will come out of our fund balance that our reserves that we have to take for the rest of the fund. And so Montgomery County and Fulton County are moving along, but this is not going to stop the fact I need your support to say yes, we want Hamilton County to, to join in. Already, Fulton County has voted on it and said yes, they want to have Hamilton County uh, be part of it, but we need both counties to say yes, because we vote on the own system. So, I'm asking you tonight if you want to either do a resolution or some type of a letter of support to tell Hamilton County that yes, you know, we agree with this, but in the future we have to meet again, Fulton uh, Montgomery County, and we'll have to come up with some type of cost factors to bring back to our board to say this is how much money that Hamilton County will have to pay Montgomery County and Fulton County to be part of the phone system. Sure, do we need Doug to make some, to put something together like that? Or? I I'll prefer to Doug to the best direction to go, the letter or just a more resolution. Well, you're, you'll need a resolution either now or later to authorize entering into the arrangement with them. Uh, if you're comfortable doing it without the hard numbers, you could go ahead and do it now, or you could uh, informally express support if that's if that's your, the sentiment that you have, and and do it later on by a formal resolution when you have that information. Either way, will you work. you got they're gonna are they gonna pay their portion of it to add add into our system? They're gonna any pay. any hardware or software they have to buy to tap into our system, they pay for. We own the system, the bigger part. But they're going to. But then we will turn around and say, okay, you have three entry points or one entry point. Uh, so that percentage of the whole cost package for the maintenance and any licensing that we have to buy will be taken out. They'll have to pay for a uh, percentage of the maintenance on the system. We'll look at them and say, okay, because you have this many entry points, now you have to pay the percentage of the maintenance on the machine for on the system for five years. And any, anything else we find that. Uh, we feel that a chargeback should be to Hamilton County. They'll share a portion of it. So it'll reduce our cost and it'll be cheaper for them. Does my committee feel that they would justify going with a resolution to allow that banner into this Hamilton County? Uh, I, I could uh, check with Fulton County to see how they worded their, their approval to see if you know, the resolution said the open end of the When would you need this by the next meeting, sir? No, we, uh, we can wait till next month. I just need something so I can, uh, if we approve this tonight, move ahead. Then we're going to allow uh, them to enter into it. I will then email Fulton County Emergency Management, not Fulton County, uh, well, Fulton County and Hamilton County, and tell them that the board agrees with this, and that there'll be a resolution following uh, March. Do you think we can take it out of the uh, committee and allow them pr to proceed? Is, uh, I guess we should ask everybody. How do you feel? I, you know, I support it. I'd like to get some more information exactly what the system is and if there's any downside risk associated with having one more. Uh, well, we have our tech guy over here. He can kind of explain. Is there any downside risk with okay. that? Can you give me something in writing that I can review? Yeah. Sure. I yeah. appreciate that. Well, Thank you. Oh, go ahead, Mark. Yeah, the sheriff said that we don't, you know, he wants to know how we don't really have to move on it. You, you can and do I a resolution. You know, if you say yes, we want to do a resolution, I'll try to put something together. <coughs> Next week. That's, so, I, I think, yeah. why don't we why don't we try to do something <coughs> for the next meeting then? How do you feel about that? Yeah. This has been a long process. You are one of the most thriftiest guys I know, which that's a huge compliment.
compliment. And you both do a tremendous job. So I would support this commitment. Not that I'm on the committee, but if you're asking a blanket poll, um, I don't want a resolution to move to resolution this month. No. Uh, this is something in, uh, Can I sponsor that we month. would do this? Do I have a second for it, Terry? I'll second it. And then He's in the meantime, the, you'll, the, the, you'll get the information to us and Bob. Okay. And you are putting it on your agenda for this month. For this month's meeting. Is that oh, okay? you mean, sure? Yeah. All right. You want me to do a resolution or are you just going to? I'll do a, res a resolution. Yeah. And then get, make sure you get the information technical information if, it, if it's going to affect our system at all. Probably when you're going to do it on IP, is it going to all be IP or what? Yeah, it's IP based. And so yeah. basically you had the capacity in your in your server or whatever to do that? They, they build everything to spec for the system. So it's above and beyond what we have now. So, you, so technically those. speaking, it's not going to make any difference with our, uh, with our system. Yeah. We had to do we it had in the last yeah. one and a half years. <laughs> on wood, we have absolutely no problem with okay. fantastic. They monitor 24-7 outside. So technically, the way it is not that you can put them anywhere. Yeah. We plan on putting wording in uh, with Doug's help probably on if, if it causes issues. And it shouldn't cause issues right. in today's market. In today's city. Okay. Very good. So it's, it's all running right. pretty smoothly. Now, there was a time when there were some problems. Yeah. Well, this is a new well, this the problem. We maybe going back too far. I was on the county's original uh, committee with your predecessor. Well, with a certain company that we can deal with. Right. Right. That we lease from. That's mm -hmm. one of the reasons why we decided we want our own system. Right. Instead okay. of leasing because there were issues, they weren't getting addressed. So. Well, I'll say to you something I wish somebody had said to me is that, how can I help? <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, the call volume, uh, nobody's asked about that. The call volume was something happened where we had to pick up the panels in the county, might be one or two calls a day. <laughs> that's what they told us. I, I technically I don't, so, I don't see any. There's no real heavy burden on our end of you know if there if there was a problem. <laughs> okay, uh, so you'll work with the Doug and getting something together for for I'll our have next the other sheriff put something together if you want more information and I will try to work with uh, see what Fulton County had for a resolution, how they worded it. And if you want Doug I can so if you. you can get a hold of theirs, why don't you? Get a hold of theirs, and we'll take a look at that. And see, right. see, everybody was questioning so why you picked. So we don't go in different directions. Everybody was questioning why you picked the tech guy. See, it's working out because you're high tech business now over there. So, thank you very much. Is there any other discussions? Got one other thing. Okay. About today. All right. You, uh, okay. Verizon. Shoot. Yeah. yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. I have been, been dealing with uh, Verizon Wireless. Last October, uh, to try to get them on our tower site at the sheriff's office. And quite a few years ago, we tried this and it didn't work out for whatever reason. It looks like now they want to move ahead, uh, putting a resolution together for next month's meeting uh, for you to review the lease. I already had Doug uh, review it. It was like in October last year. And you said it looked fine. Uh, but I'm going to bring it to the, the board next month as a resolution to if you want to move ahead with it to sign the lease and at that time we can discuss the, the revenue source that we can get out of them uh, leasing our tower site and they would be putting a small module building a precast building uh, on site on the county property and they bring in their own air conditioning all pre-built building and they just dump it out the generator, site, yeah. run their wires up the, the tower and that's it and uh, uh, the average rate from experience is about two to three thousand dollars somewhere in that area of monthly rent would be a nice revenue source for the county. So Thank you. Is, uh, uh, next is there any other discussion tonight so I can get done? Yeah. Okay. The motion to adjourn. Thank you very much. I'll make a motion. What's that? I'll make a motion. Okay. Third second. See, one other thing. Cheryl has a good idea for me. Because we have three man committees now, we should put a conference table in the center and have the three man <laughs> committee sit. Just, well, just we, should, we should just have three different lights. No, no, we'll have lights. Three lights around the committee, red light or not. Thank you, gentlemen. What? Who said that's a good idea? Thank you very much.